Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and we're back for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Starscream. And he does have some nose cone damage because this is a used figure. Only reason I got it because I really wanted this figure. And a complete one would have been too expensive, but I got this one complete without the with the nose cone damage, but I don't mind the damage. You could say Starscream crashed and destroyed his nose cone, but he could still fly in the air. Why not? Now I say why not? Now this is a nice looking Beast Hunter Starscream, if I do say so myself. Got some nice wing designs, nice hidden kibble, which is cool. But now we're going to get down to some comparison. Here we got the Transformers Prime Beast Hunter Starscream that looks like Thrust next to my boy Thrust from Generations Universe Classics. Now we're going to do a group shot with some other Decepticons. Here we got my only version of the Transformers Prime Megatron. It's the Creo version anyway. Arachnid next to Starscream because she's the treacherous one. And a Jet Viacon right next to Starscream because they're both airborne Decepticons. And that's all there is to say for comparisons, except for some other Beast Hunters comparisons. Here we got Huffer and Trailbreaker. But now we're going to get down to Transformation. Disconnect these Null Rays villains for him. Weapons villains. Flip up these panels. Fold, pull this loose, and then that'll loosen up his arms, like so. Fold these backwards. Split the nose cone. Form in his robot mode arms, like so. Easy peasy, lemon greasy. Now we're going to disconnect his legs, like so. There's one leg. And he's got some long legs, <laughs> like he's got high heel shoe long legs. I will state that about this figure since I've messed around with it so many times. And you know it's been a while since I've reviewed anything Transformers Prime here on the channel. Because I don't get a lot of Transformers Prime here that I should. Okay, come on. Oh, his leg popped loose. I gotta go grab his leg. Going to... Free up his leg, his leg popped out of his ball joint. So let's reattach that. And here we got good old Starscream in his robot mode. And this is a nice looking Starscream, if I do say so myself. But these pieces I borrowed from my Skywarp can totally work with this Starscream. And he can have some actual Null Ray blasters hooked up to his arms. It's a thing you can do if you want to give him armaments. So you can be like, ah, ah take this Autobot, pew, pew, bang, bang. Ah. If I can get him to stand, we'll get him standing. And then we'll do some actual robot mode comparisons. Now that he's standing, let's get some comparisons going. which I'm going to get his leader, Megatron, here up for comparison. Since his transformation is so easy because it's a Creo Transformer, and the closest thing I have to Transformers Prime, Megatron. Because what's the collection complete without Megatron? So here we got Lord Megatron next to Starscream, and they look good together.
I'm going to do one Jet Viacon next to Starscream. I do have the other Viacon here somewhere. It's the ground Viacon. I think I just found that if you give me a second, I can go and retrieve it. And you can see an entire Decepticon line I own so far. I'll be back in a jiffy. I still couldn't find him, so I guess we're going to skip that comparison until he turns up anyway. Unless he's in here and I don't know about it. Bins and I don't know about it. Nope. We're just going to skip that comparison. And for one final Decepticon comparison, here we got the Transformers Prime Arachnid Legends class Arachnid. So we're going to transform her. But here we got the treacherous Arachnid. And they look good together. And those are my Transformers Prime Decepticons so far. But now we're going to get a group shot with all the Prime Transformers I own in one collection. Of course... Big boy, Optimus Prime, if I can get him to stand. If I can get him to stand without falling over. Come on, Prime. Don't fall on me, man. Ooh. Man, he's a big guy. He doesn't want to stand up. Of course, we got Prowl. We're going to have to pull this back because I got quite a few of these. Wheeljack, because he's Wheeljack. Because we like Wheeljack here. Good old RC. And this is the Legacy one, which is based on the Prime one, which I never picked up. But she makes a nice Prime fill-in for RC. We got two more, and then we'll end this video. For sure. So, oh. Oh, I think I just broke Huffer. Huffer is broken beyond the shadow of a doubt. A second. Oh wait, he, I fixed him. Yep, fixed him more or less. He's just real loose. But there we got Beast Hunters Huffer next to the other Decepticons and Autobots. Okay. But yeah, these figures break real easy. I will state that. After a while, they will start to break on you. If you're not careful about it. But here we got Trailbreaker. And this is my entire Transformers Prime toy line as of 2023. Which I got quite a few. And I do got one more Transformers Prime we're going to be reviewing here on the channel. And it's going to be Beast Hunter's Bulkhead with a Wrecker color scheme. So, that's all there is to say for this week. And that was my entire Transformers Prime Beast Hunters toy line as of 2022. And we will be doing more Transformers Prime here on the channel. So stay tuned for that big review of Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Bulkhead. Will be the next one with the Prime line we're gonna be reviewing. And I look forward to that re review. But this is what we're doing this week for this review of this week. It's Transformers Legends Autobot Brawn. So look forward to that video, and I look forward to showing you this 
video on the next Transformer we will be reviewing here on the channel. So we got some Universe Classics Legends here. That's all there is to say for our Transformers Prime video. This is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out, YouTube land.